Hey, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough. Um, I'm probably going to end up doing voiceover for the majority of this and uh, high speed work. But what I have is two cutting boards. You might hear voices in the background. So just a serving board. And I'm going to resin these. Um, these are for, one will be for my mum and one might be for my son. I don't know, I'll see how I go. But this board is actually going to have resin here and here. This board is going to have resin here, here and here. So I'm actually in the process of taping these up. And you'll see a combination of different tape because I ran out of tape. Now the back of this, I've taped the edges so that when, I, when the paint comes over, it doesn't go onto the back of the board. I will be paint. It will be um, covering the full back of the board, and this bit, and this bit, and this bit here will also be taped. I will be painting before I do these. Before I put any resin on, so these will get painted. Paint will dry. I'll put a second coat on, let it dry, and then um, go from there. So, going. I'm going to be doing a lot of this stuff in. Um, on my um, fire speed and uh, yeah enjoy the music while I do it if there's anything different I will um, jump in and let you know selected the colours, um, we'll see how they go. The boards, the white has got two paints of two coats of white, the black, the backboard has two coats of black. I have leveled these with uh, paddle pops and actually used pyramid stands, painted pyramids. Don't tell me they weren't hard to locate. Could only find them on Amazon. Okay. So, from here, um, I've actually measured out my resin, so my part, my A and my B has been measured out, 125 mils. I can't remember what I did last time, perhaps I should watch the video, um, but that will give me basically 250 mils of resin. So I'll get to a mix up shortly. Um, I have six different cups because I'm just contemplating doing a couple of different little bit of different stuff um, but this one will have I've got these from Lumiere these are from let's see if I can show you them got these off of Amazon I'll put the link below I don't know how clear that's coming up for you guys Pearlescent turquoise and halo blue gold and then I've used this before which is the shimmer opaque electric blue and for this one I'm going with the goldy color ready gold so metallic russet halo pink gold and sunset gold I'm thinking I may end up putting some pearlescent some pearl in there or possibly some silver. I that's the, they're the ones that I'm thinking I might be doing. Add a little bit more depth. Okay. So I'll put these together, mix them up, and I'll get back to you. Um, well, I'll high speed scrub it to that somewhere around this point.
So this has been mix part A, part B, three minutes. Uh, the resin I've used is exactly the same as the last time. So I've used art resin. Oop. These are actually gallon bottles. So uh, I've gone in and got the big amount to get ready to do uh, my son's diamond painting. So first things first is I'm going to pour the resin out into the cups and then I'm going to add the tint. What I do have is cells popping, and I've, I've, this is my first time dealing with popping cells, so this is pretty cool. This is really cool. Rightio, so. Swirl it through. Swirl it through. Right, let's do a bit of tilting. I don't know if you can see how much you can see of me doing this. But before I start touching this one, I want to swirl this around a bit, muck around with this one. To get the colours out and around. Okay. Right. I'm going to have to change gloves between this one and that one. But what I need to do is encourage, I need to get this resin around the edge.
The blowing just spreads it around a bit more of a merge. Um, it gets rid of the harsher lines of some of the things that you... Okay. Right, yeah. I think that is it for that one. Now let's take this glove off because I don't want that colour mixed with that one. Okay. Why do I wear two sets of gloves? Because it's easier to put a, one pair of gloves over top of another pair of gloves than it is to put a pair of gloves on a sweaty hand. <laughs> As if that makes any sense. Even though I do struggle putting on the second glove. But, okay. Before I go any further, I'm just going to torch this. You may not see the bubbles. But there is bubbles in this. And this just pops those buzzes. Well, these bubbles. Okay, so that's that one done. Rightio. That's, that one's done with the, out the, I'm going to put some accents in. Okay. Put those off. And let's do a bit of tilting. You will see it in a sec because I'll tilt it the other way. Okay. So, putting some silver on that one.
That's it, I have now stopped. I will no more gloves on uh, for half an hour. I will just do torching just to make sure I've got all the bubbles out. Um, So we will see how this goes and I'll be back in half an hour um, just to have a quick look, have a look at the edges, see how it's flowing. I won't be making any more colour changes to it but I might have to put some more resin towards the edges. Um, but yeah, that's where we're going to stop it there and uh, come back to you shortly. Okay, so half an hour. Just going to bring you in so you can really have a good look at how this has ended up. So this is still wet. Got the resin has come around. So what I need to do now is actually I need to get under there, get those drips. Now, <laughs> as this one is still dripping, so this is the goldy one. I'm loving the look of this. The metallic fleck in there is stunning, but it is still running there, so I need to get rid of it. But hopefully, here we go. What I will do though is to, I have found that sometimes when I torch again, I do sometimes discover that I have some bubbles. So I just like to do an extra bit of a torch job on them. Just as I okay. So I do have two spoons. One is for this guy here. So just I don't know how much you're gonna see. But what I need to do is just get rid of any resin that's under there. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, and I'm just going to do this end, this side. I've had a lot of this run off here. Um, what I have done previously is ended up picking this up and run a little bit around the edge. Just because it's gonna run off the edge anyway. Right, which is what I'm also doing here to try and encourage running there. Okay, so that's that colour. Now this one has had a lot of running off. I obviously put a lot of resin on this one. Oops. Grab another spoon. Running around the edge. But yeah, you can see all the runoff here. I just want to... Yeah, what I want to do is try and encourage just a bit more resin on that edge. Okay. Whoop. Yeah, camera mount. <laughs> no, just need to... Run this around. The less resin I have underneath, when I clean this up, the better. And obviously because I've just added here, you can see where I've added. A bit of heat just to... Whoops. 
Blend it in. I just put a line on the side. <laughs> Far out. Just to try and cover up that cold. <laughs> Whoops. And just back to this side. Am I making this dizzy? Just and there. Okay. So I come back to this. So let's have a proper look. I'll actually look through the camera. Hang on a sec. Is my timer going off? Okay. Got a little, little bit of sunshine on this one now. But yeah. You can see the shimmer. That's going to look so cool. So cool. So yeah, in about an hour, maybe two, I'll come back and I remove all the tape. So all that tape comes off and I'll get to see the effect. Hopefully it's as good as I expect. See you shortly. Okay so the uh, resin although has not fully set I am able to move it and what I'm doing now is removing the tape. Um, it's always best to remove the tape while it is still moist it's just it's easier um, so what I'm going to do is speed this process up um, so you'll watch me make absolute mess of all this tape.
so they're both done. That last little bit that I did with the flamethrower was just um, catching any fluff or anything that I may have slightly marked because it's still uh, semi-wet. Um, I'm still able to use it just to get it to manoeuvre. It's not running anymore. But you can see there, it's just nice over the edge. I'm happy with that. Looks quite pretty. And then this one, although it doesn't really show the redness of it, the richness of it. But yeah, hang on. Okay, so what I've done is I've put the uh, light on it. You can really see the sparkle. Absolute shimmer. You can see the silver that I put up here, which is just giving it that edge. Look at that. Even inside the ring, you know, I've got some resin in there. Well, got a bit of paper in there too. Oh, yeah, and then this one has a little bit of sparkle. Oh, wow, that looks almost. <laughs> Wow, that's, Esperance beaches have water that looks like that. But yeah, very, very happy with both of these boards. And quite thank you, they are easy to do. You've just got to be prepared to do your groundwork. Um, the way you put down your paint, painter's tape down on your edges to stop anything from seeping under. Um, I'm just trying to get it. No. Um, I'll add to the end of this when I'll put to the end of this video um, before these end up finding a new home. I was going to give this one to my brother, but I've got a strange feeling Nathan's going to like that one and want it for camping. Um, but yeah, boards were $17 chopping boards from Kmart with resin on them. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. I really do love this one, this one I love. I didn't think I would, but yeah. So we'll have a better look at these when they're set. Okay, so resin has been done. Look at these boards. So these are tape measure out, just so you know the sizing of them. 65 centimetres or 25 and a half inches long. So that gives you an idea of size or what. So this one was done with the three shades of blue plus the silver. The one underneath here was the three shades of metallics with um, a pewter on them. So we'll show you them a bit closer. Okay. Go and sit down, boy. Go and sit on the bed. That's it. Easy time. So just bring these up closer. They have turned up stunning. And yeah, the colours are coming through, but not as good as what they are here. So this one's got the white paint underneath, which means when I poured it, yes, the blue came over, but you could still see the white what happens when the colours roll over. Back of the board because I had it taped. You can see it's got a good edge on there and that's based on the taping. If you put the painter's tape down right, it doesn't roll, it doesn't run anywhere else. Okay, so that is the ocean one. I don't want to put anything on top of that. These are still setting. They're good. I've still got another two days before these are set properly. And then the, met, the darker one. So this has got the black paint underneath it. And you see, nice and flat on that side. And they are, you know, serving boards. Nice big cheese platters or sandwiches or seafood or whatever you want to put on this. Well, probably not seafood, I don't know if But that's how they've turned out um, using the art resin on these which is really cool 
um, that's actually their stick up there and there. Um, so they are really cool to work with. Um, what else can I say about this? But easy to do. I think I said it last time I did these. It's just a case of I've been into some of the craft stores and the kitchen stores and seen resin on boards and loved it and wanted to get them. And, like, they're charging, I think the paddle boards are, like, $60. Something like this would be around about the 120 mark if I was to sell them. But I do these for family and friends. So, um, yeah, that's something that I just like to do. Um, so, yeah, very easy to do. Art resin, two-part epoxy plus the um, tints, which you've seen me use. I will put the link to the art resin below and I will list the colours so you know exactly the colours, um, what they are below. Um, coming up soon will be, I'll actually be working with UV resin as well shortly. That's on order and coming. Um, but yeah, they turned out beautiful. I don't know, did I show you this one close up? <laughs> so that's really got the reds in there. Um, my mum sort of went, oh, that's very masculine, which it is. It's, it's quite a nice one. Um, it's actually not my taste. It's not something that I would do. I did this not for myself at all. And it's like, oh, I don't want to let it go. I really do like it that much. Um, but we'll let it go. Nathan saw it and went, oh, that'll be good for the camp kitchen. Um, but I have a different plan for the camp <coughs> camp kitchen. So um, we need a cutting board for the camp kitchen. And I've got something that I want to try as opposed to one of these. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys like that. Maybe you've got some mix something a bit informative from it um, maybe you just enjoyed watching the process uh, and um, yeah so I'm actually going to say please give us a thumbs down leave a comment did I say thumbs down give me a thumbs up we'll probably do a better one not even thinking straight now so give us a thumbs up leave me a comment um, very easy to do as I said before so yeah um, Please subscribe and hit that little bell so that um, you're notified of when I do upload stuff. And it is stuff. I do a lot of diamond painting stuff, but I am doing a bit of additional stuff. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.